today I'm going to be doing a head tutorial on this double space buns hair look and it's been rocked by quite a few celebrities recently so you've got Kylie Jenner, Kendall Jenner, Miley Cyrus, Jessie J, Jessica Lynn and all other celebrities like that so I thought why not do it on my channel since it's what everyone's loving right now so if you want to know how I got this hair look then carry on watching please give my video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to hit that subscribe button throughout the video and I'll see you in my next video I'm going to be starting off with damp hair and I've used the Macadamia Natural Oil Rejuvenating Shampoo and Moisturising Rinse which comes in a mini trio set from Beauty Bay which also includes a mask as well for those days that you want a little bit of extra goodness in the hair but for today I just stuck with the conditioner and shampoo so since I've been out of the shower probably about 20 minutes it's dried pretty quickly but I'm just giving it a quick brush through before we start and apply any more products to our hair I'm going to be using a hair dryer to dry my hair partly, I've left it probably for about 20 minutes as I said in a towel so it reduces the amount of time that it is under direct heat for but for my hair protection I'm going to be using the Tresemme Expert Selection uh, Kerosene Smooth and it's a heat protection spray. So I'm mainly focusing this on the ends but I'm also concentrating it on the roots as well because both areas are going to be in contact with the heat. I'm just making sure that the product is evenly split throughout the hair and making sure pretty much all the strands are covered. And now it's time to dry my hair so what you can do is you can flip your hair upside down for that bit of extra volume and sometimes just to get a bit of more volume in the front I like to flip my hair from side to side. Normally if you flip it the wrong way so the hair that your hair naturally doesn't sit that will give you more volume so I'm flicking it to the left because my hair normally likes to flick to the right so when we put it back there'll be more volume within the roots Now I'm just going to grab a paddle brush just to brush out any knots that might have been created from the hair dryer and this will prepare our hair for any partings that we might need to make for the hairstyle. So I've quickly just sectioned off one half of my hair and this is not even at the back or anything like that, it's just to literally clip up the side of the hair that I don't want to get in the way and I'm just straightening some of the ends very roughly, it's not going to be dead straight but it's just to make things a little bit more smoother and easier to work with when we are putting our hair in a bun and it makes the bun look silky smooth as well when it hits the light so this is pretty much just a quick technique to make things look that much more put together and it's by no means a way of being compulsory it's just something that I like to do when I want my hair to look fairly sleek now I'm just taking my brush back again and I'm preparing the back of my hair for a parting so now I'm taking a comb and what you can do is you can brush your hair backwards and find your parting with the brush and this makes it so much easier because it's got a finer tip to it so you can get a straighter parting. And you can also use the comb down the back of your head to get a fairly straight part and it doesn't have to be perfect. It depends what look you're going for. If you're going for neat, that means it's quite a sleek, but sometimes it's good to go messy as well. Or you can kind of combine the two throughout the look, which is what I'm going to be doing. So I've gone for a fairly straight parting, but towards the end you'll see that I'm going to let the look be quite natural and scruffy looking, so we'll get to that point in a minute. So now I'm just gathering all the hair up with my brush, and this bit doesn't have to be perfect at all. And I'm just using a hair bubble just to tie my hair together for a moment and then you can put it together and I'm facing mine more towards the back of my head rather than out towards the sides because I think this look looks better when the buns are in and um, to have them more closer together.
now we're going to be doing exactly the same thing on the other side of the hair so I'm just taking my brush brushing out any knots that might have been caused by the hair straightener and I'm just gathering all the hairs up together facing the hair um, ponytail more towards the back of my head than the side and just brushing out any knots underneath as well and trying not to pull out any hairs from the other side of the parting as we can Now just grabbing my hair bands and I'm going to secure the ponytail with this and you want to make sure you've got a fairly strong one, you don't want it to snap um, throughout the day or even as you're trying to put it on and it will hold the ponytail in place as well as this is the base of our hairstyle. And now I'm just securing the tops of my ponytails just to give them that much more volume and if you want to you can even hold the ponytail as you pull out the front of your hair at the roots as well just to give that much more volume so it's not so stuck to your head but if you are going for a more sleek and flat look then you can leave it as it is. I'm going back in again quickly with the brush just to brush out any knots before we start on our bun and I do want mine to start off quite sleek but it's going to become more messy as time goes on so I'm going to start off with a fairly neat um, hairstyle. So we're going to start off by twisting your hair um, in the direction away from your face and I want this to be quite tight at the top of the hairband and then as we go towards the bottom you don't have to curl it quite as much or even at all as it just sits underneath the bun that you've already made but it's important to make the first lot of hair that you do turn and twist more secure than the rest of it because this is going to be the base of our bun and then you can just secure it with a hair tie as I'm doing here and now you can pinch and pull as much or as little as you want to just to either scruff up the bun or you can keep it as neat as you'd like. I'm going to be going quite scruffy with this so I have quite a neat foundation for the hair and I've kept my base quite sleek but I do want quite messy, messy buns so I am going to be pulling this quite a lot so they are quite floppy and scrunchy and I really love this version of the space buns look. If your hair is slightly thicker and longer like mine and you don't feel that the hair bulb was going to secure it quite as much as you'd like throughout the day, you can also go ahead and secure it with extra bobby pins, which is what I'm doing. So I take about four to five of them and just place it around the bun and tuck any flyaways that I have surrounding the bun inside and just neaten it up a little bit. We're going to do exactly the same thing with the other ponytail and we're just going to be twisting mainly focusing that towards the top of the ponytail twisting it around away from the face and then we're going to be loosening it up as we go down the ponytail for that more scruffy look which allows us to pull it a little bit more than it would do normally if it was tighter And now I'm going to be using the Macadamia Natural Oil Control Spray which contains Omega uh, 3, 5 and 7 so it's amazing for your hair. And then I'm just pulling out any hairs at the side which I think will look quite cute if they remain down. And I'm not too fussed about baby hairs sticking out either, I think it makes it look more natural. And you can readjust any pins now if you're not happy with how any of the buns sit, so I'm just repinning this one. This is pretty much the finished look and I hope you did enjoy it. Please give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and I'd love to hear from you. So leave a comment down below or hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.